Hello and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universal 4 as we continue our game with Ming and yeah we are still trying to well, we are going to uh, do what I said we would do in the previous episode so we are going to try to get uh, Kashar, Arakan and Kumer integrated uh, well one after the other we will get um, we are now getting Kashar, which will be done in a couple of years. Lindsay Governance against Gondwana. We have lost against Mewar. Yeah, we cannot declare another war right now. Honestly, we can't. That is. Yeah, we cannot. Vijayanagar should actually be able to take that. And Burar, we should be able to just vassalize you straight away. Once I get around to do it. Uh, at most importance, of course. Conversion successful. Good. Let's continue with that. We also need to go for Japan. That is another one. Damn, we have a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do. Hoping we'll be... Uh, Alright. Oh. One of Wayward... Our wayward brothers in one of our provinces have seen the errors of their ways and come back to the one and only true faith. They are all saved. There's a Y missing there. So, good news. Jiram to confession is one that I was converting. No, good. What is my religious unity, by the way? 62%. Damn. I have two revolts possible in Amavaravati and Tungo. Which we will release uh, soon or later. I was hoping sooner. But I need to actually integrate at least one before I release another. We actually need to integrate two before I release another one. The Emperor, Young Sung. Alright. Good luck with that. 121 should be able to start the integration soon. If I can get to 165, which I think I can, I'll send a gift and then start the integration of them. Merchants harassed. Uh, Shagatai. Let's get diplomatic solution for a bit. Body and peasants. It's also to start to improve relations here in Jaunpur. try to get that going so that we have a couple of them that can start to be integrated soon missionaries I think once I actually flip one province there will be another one that will flip back it has been standard stuff so far making tons of money though Really tons of money. Right, 73. So five years until we can start integration of that. 74 when we actually integrate uh, this guy. And again, 142. It's getting there. Two more years, I think. And we should be able to start the integration of Arakan. That's my hope, at least. So have the modifier released in peace. This is one of those that we vassalize through diplomatic means. Uh, please tell me Pego doesn't have... No, Bengal, Arakan. Alright, good. Mughals have a claim there, though. Damn, Mughals have a claim everywhere. Alright, let's continue the conversion. Conversion efforts, 153. It's getting there. It's definitely getting there. We'll need to send a gift, though. So, in January, I think I'll stop the relation improvement. Uh, in January or in the cap? No. No, it will be in January. Yeah. Probably for the best. We'll stop the relation improvement in January. Wait until he actually returns home, then send a gift. Wait until he returns home, and then uh, start the annexation. 163. 
65. So if we send it now, we could actually get that thing going. It would be perfect if it actually stopped in January. But no. Well, it might. Damn. You get raid. It might just stop in January. Yep, it will. How amazing is that? Exactly what I wanted it to be. It was all planned. Uh, the grave for a eunuch. Uh, lose influence or lose ducats. We can actually afford to lose ducats now, but let's do this. It will maintain the balance. Actually, I will need to do this now. Damn, should have just spent the money. Let's recall the diplomat. Now we are going to send a gift over to them as soon as the diplomat arrives. Military divider. Um, hmm. Well, now we're losing military power. All right, that's good. Let's do this one. Send gift for 15. Well, 50 gold for 23. And we'll be able to start the annexation as soon as that guy returns. Yep. Let's take, uh, do that, and influence, and one, annexation, conversion successful. 14 days before we actually start the annexation of Anakin. Annex, 1.2 per month, so it will be done in sev 77, which is fine. Khmer, you are starting to lose that though, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll need to improve relations for a bit with this guy. Why won't we do that now, Jumper? Let's stop the relation improvement. Right, Khmer, I'm going to improve relations with you for a little while. Until 71, I think. And in 71 we'll... Uh, We'll recall it, or 72. Well, in 71 we'll recall it, start to improve relations with that guy again. And damn, god damn it. Start to do that again. What? What at all? Alright. Let's get the wrong urge. Start to improve relations there again, then... Uh, Annex Khmer. Right, now it's doing. Suzu, good thing is Kanka is 16 months, so a little over one year. But damn. By the way, why can't I become the Defender of the Faith? Eastern Group. Hmm. More advanced technology group, with, or one without any power penalties to be able to claim the Defender of the Faith. Okay, good to know. It's actually been a while. God freaking damn it. I honestly, god damn it. Three points per month. You are a Sunni Zealots. So I'm thinking you'll flip. Well, you're Sunni already. This is Shiite. Nope, Sunni. You can just give in. Okay, so how's it going? 61.9. 18%, 71. Stop the relation improvement now. I'm thinking plus 200. 83. We'll stop it in um, in January. We'll stop the relation improvement. So it's one, one year less that it will take. God damn it. Three provinces converted before we convert another. Oh. <sighs> Uh, we'll flip this because it will be one year less that will have the minus three uh, penalty or relations over time decay rather so relation improvement there now we'll have as soon as that actually ticks in quartermaster has died well we got a level three one so pretty happy with that Let's get a level 3 guy here. 
I'll have minus three yearly. That's why I was saying that. So wait until you actually return. Trade efficiency in diplomatic points or money. Trade efficiency in diplomatic points. Improve relations here in Jonpur. Because we will need that. March. When can I s actually start to integrate? I know it's 51 days before that guy actually is able to return home. 8th of February. So that means in... Uh, well, we'll stop in January. Yeah, same thing. January 73 will stop the relation improvement with that guy. With Jampur. And then we will... Um, once he returns, we'll actually start the annexation of Khmer. That is probably the best course of action that I can take. Now, do I still have that advisor? No, I don't. After I get the next uh, diplomatic uh, tech, uh, peasants war with Crimea. All right. After I get the next idea in diplomatic, which is this one, it's the last one, unjustified amends minus 25%, which will come in handy. Uh, after I get this one, I am going to put the uh, bureaucrat faction in charge for a little while. I want to bump up my stability back to plus two. Religious leaders show the way. Well, apparently I don't need to do it. But I'll do that anyhow. Because I want to build a little bit more. Maybe, or maybe not. Might just put the temple faction in charge for a while. Although we would be losing uh, master master of mint plus three master of mint. And that is good, but I wanted a level three guy. But I want to no, yeah, that's what I wanted. And I want to actually refresh my pool of advisors because this one gives me plus one advi possible advisors. Hopefully, we would get a level three diplomat if even for just for one month I think that would be doable just bump that up by two and then get it back but first I want to diplomatic uh, ideas finished right so yep and good to see you. all right 73 and I actually s forgot about this I was talking, talking, and talking, and I forgot about that. Well, we are still in time, so. Let's start the annexation. We'll have three guys annexing. Yeah, I am going crazy. Statesman, apparently we don't need to do that. Awesome. Right, let's get the statesman in. That was exactly what I was hoping for. Right, so now, 74. Uh, well, marriage, sure. Portugal with someone. I actually missed that. Damn, I missed that. We can actually, I think we can take a look. Portugal with Vijayanagar. Katia War to Portugal. So Katia War right there. Alright. We need to get there. So we can actually westernize. And they already have it here. So I'll probably just take that province and go for a war against those guys against Gujarat vassalize then 10 years after do that this is a Bamanis province no please tell me this is a Bamanis province yes it is awesome so we are going for that one but first I need to integrate these guys once I integrate these three would be set 78 74 and 76 yeah Okay, good. So two years spaced, that will be actually good, I think. 2.63 each year. So in uh, January we'll bump that up. Kamdu was converted, I actually forgot to have my guys converting. Right, but this is going well now, this is actually going well. And take the last idea, which I will do. There we go. We are now making plus five. All right, that is also an improvement. Much money, 31 gold per month. Yep, bear relations over time. This will actually be handy as well. 
would be happy with a diplomat or a statesman. I really would. So next month we will get the integration of Kashar. Uh, sure. Right, so that was done. One less diplomatic relation that we'll have to maintain. I'm going to... Let me just take a look over here. I'm going to keep it. We have the, the unique faction and we are below the force limit. That is awesome. Really awesome. So now I can actually release another nation as vassal. But I'll wait until these guys are integrated so that I can integrate those later. Minus 50 plus 161. I don't need to do that. This would be the point where we would go to war against Vijayanagar. Because, well, they are having a little trouble fighting right now. Because Portugal broke them. Mughals, when will you lose the claim here? In 74, so we will, you will actually lose the claim. Although I think there is a bug right now in the game that doesn't let you lose claims. Yeah. You never have too much manpower. Multan as vassal, that one. Okay. Okay, okay, so Vijayanagar, this is the right time to actually strike against you, so let's get that going. Show superiority, allied with Mewar. I'm going to declare war, and we shouldn't need anything. Uh, our vassals should actually be able to win there. Let me just, don't attach units to this one. Just go there by yourselves. And let's see what we can do. Uh, especially because Gujarat is actually fighting as Vijayanagar as well, so... It should be just easy. This should be easy pickings. I'm going to move that there though. And I'm actually going to assign these guys to siege the closest provinces. There we go. We'll take one province from them. And release uh, Bewar as vassal. Bewar? No, not Bewar. Bamanis. There we go. It's forgetting the name. No, I definitely can't vassalize Vijayanagar in one war. Probably not even in two. Yeah, we would need four wars to vassalize Vijayanagar. Which is quite a lot. Although, since they are pretty much broken, I'm going to probably be using five wars to actually defeat them. Probably going to be in five wars. Thirteen years old, forty. I might just turn you into a military leader. Do, 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 do. Almost able to take up as well. Yeah, there we go. So take up in and main technology. I'll do it. The next one will be able to do that one will come in really handy. The next idea. Tea Party. Revolt in Assam. I was all happy that we had a tea party going on. So Bastar was done. Let's move to Vijayanagar. We'll start the siege of their capital. But go through here, will you? Thank you very much. And actually tech up over here. So we have a chamber dam cannon. That's awesome news. Need to upgrade our troops though. And our manpower as well. Siege of Costa. Right, so we won another one. Move to Coromandel. Jarkon. Alright, conversion. Let's continue to convert. Telangana. Let's move over there. Yeah, and I have my guys there, which... Well, I don't have them there anymore. Actually, one. Awesome. S really surprised for that. Let's actually grab this fleet and move it there to repair. Actually, I always forget my freaking fleets. Amaravi, Bastar revolted. 
this is one of the reasons why I have my troops here. I'm going to put my ruler as a military leader for a while. We need to switch up the rulers. And hopefully he'll not die for a very long time. Of course. Japan in Usuli. Army reformer. Moral of armies plus three, 10%. What do I have? I reinforce speed. Well, morale is better. They will attack me there. And I uh, will be defeated. But hopefully these guys will come in. Well, apparently I won't be defeated. Awesome. Right, another siege was done. Let's move there. If this was a province of Bomanis, I would be so goddamn thrilled. But no. Alice, it is not to be. Right. Another annexation will be done soon. In 76. It's getting really close. So when that actually takes in, we'll make a cut in the episode. Be in the middle of a war, but it's pretty much wrapped up. Uh, tax modifier plus 50%. I'll do that one. And march. So the integration was done. There we go. And we got the mission complete. Rival or rival claim on a... It's probably somewhere around here. Right there. Royal marriage with Shukotai. Shukotai, Shukotai, Shukotai. Uh, no. They're allied with Ayutthaya. No, I will... Mm, I'm not going to vassalize one province minor. I'm going to fabricate a claim there and then annex them. So we'll do this one. And we'll start to fabricate a claim here. So we can finish the, the mission. And we'll fabricate a claim there, and hopefully when we declare war for Ayutthaya, which will be the next after we will release those two, because now we are able to do that. We can actually release one. We'll release Pamanis. But yeah, that will be for the next episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, thumbs up please, and until next time, do take care, and goodbye.